hello students welcome to my channel this video contains class 7 international general knowledge olympiad sample paper for the year 2022 to 23 in this paper you will be having 50 questions with the time duration of one hour this paper consists of four section the first one is general awareness contains 30 questions each carry one mark the second section is current affairs consists of 10 questions each carry one mark the third section is life skills consists of five questions each carry one mark the last section is achiever section in this you will be having five questions in higher order thinking skill each question carry three marks so the syllabus of this paper is plants and animals india and the world science and technology earth and its environment universe language and literature entertainment social studies sports quantitative aptitude and reasoning current affairs life skills empathy effective communication critical thinking and creative thinking coping with stress decision making problem solving interpersonal skills managing emotions self awareness in achiever section the higher are on thinking questions from the above given syllabus you can also find other papers of class 7 in my channel i have given the playlist link in the description box please do watch before going to the video please do subscribe my channel for more videos let's move into the video question number one angel falls is the world's tallest waterfall it is situated in which of the following countries options are india venezuela russia africa so the right answer is it's option b venezuela question number two an important contribution of a swami vivekananda was dash opening the banaras hindi university abolition of a sati system opening of a santi niketan and starting the ramakrishna mission so the right answer is it's option d starting the ramakrishna mission question number three who among the following was the longest serving prime minister of our country options are inder kumar gujral jawaharlal nehru rajiv gandhi amoraji desai so the right answer is it's option b jawaharlal nehru question number four how many schedules are there in the indian constitution options are 10 13 11 and 12 so the right answer is we have 12 schedules in the indian constitution option d is the right answer question number five what is the full form of a gps options are gateway position system global positioning system general power status none of this so gps is a global positioning system its option b is the right answer question number six dash is the largest member of the monkey family options are baboon option b is its pygmy marmoset option c is a mandrel and option d is none of this so the right answer is mandrel is the largest member of the monkey family question number seven what is the full form of lan options are local area network large area network lateral air network loose air network the right answer is it's a local area network option a is the right answer question number eight a farmer who regularly won a prizes for the best crop output explain the reason for his success as 
I share my best seats with my neighbor Formas. Why did he do this? Options are he did not want his neighbors to be jealous. He really liked his neighbors. This ensured a better pollination for his crops. He is a generous person. He likes to share. So the right answer is this ensured a better pollination for us crops option c is the right answer the next section is achiever section question number 9 select the incorrect match in the first column they have given the play names othello casio as you like it option c is king lear and option d is macbeth and their corresponding characters are given on the left right hand side for othello casio it's a desidomono and lago so this is correctly matched as you like it is characters are rosalind a frederick a celia so this is also correctly matched and for king lear uh, the characters are prospero miranda and caliban so this is wrongly matched where uh, these characters are um, are the play of tempest so this is incorrectly matched with king lear then macbeth so the characters are duncan macduff and banquo so option d is also correctly matched with their characters and c is the right answer for this question question number 10 a sum of rupees 1550 is lent out into two parts one at 8 percent each and another one at 6 percent each if the total annual interest is rupees 106 then the money lent at 6 percentage is what so now let's solve this question so now we'll solve this one so sum of rupees 1150 sorry 1150 is lent out into two parts right one is 8 percentage and another one is 6 percentage but we don't know what is the amount right so let us take the amount lent out at 8 percentage is equal to x rupees x amount right in the same way the amount lent out at 6 percentage will be 1550 minus x right so for this Uh, we have to calculate the interest right so what is the formula for interest esi formula so i is equal to pnr by 100 first we'll calculate 8 percentage so the interest is principal amount is how much x for how many year one year right so 1 into R is eight percentage, so we'll write eight by hundred. So eight x by hundred. Eight x by hundred. So make the equation as one. Then we'll calculate for six percentage by using the same formula P N R by hundred. So what is the interest for six percentage? I is equal to one fifty thousand five hundred and fifty minus x. into number of year is 1 into 6 by 100 so the answer is we'll keep as it is 1150 into 6 divided by 100 right so now if the total amount interest is 106 which means when you add this interest of 8 percentage and 6 percentage interest of 6 percentage uh, you will be getting the total uh, annual interest as 106 right so now what we are going to means we are going to add these two equation 1 and 2 so what is 1 the equation 1 is the interest of 8 percentage and equation 2 is the interest coming for 6 percentage of the amount right so now we'll find out the value of x just keep in mind i'm going to solve this by equation 1 and 
so now adding equation 1 and 2 so adding equation 1 and 2 8x by 100 plus 1550 minus x into x by 100 when you add these two interest you are getting rupees 106 so 8x plus 9300 minus just use the distributive law you can multiply the 6 with this bracket and by 100 which is equal to 106 so 8x plus 9300 minus 6x is equal to 106 into 100 so 8x minus 6x is 2x plus 9300 which is equal to 106 10,600 so we'll transpose the constant to the opposite side 10600 minus 9 0 so when you subtract you will be getting 1300 so therefore x is equal to 1300 divided by 2 equal to x is equal to 650 so the amount is 650 so now we are going to find what is the money lent at 6 percentage so now we, we got x is equal to 6550 now so now we'll find out what is the money lent for 6 percentage so the amount lent at 6 percentage that is 1550 minus x no so we'll subtract 1550 minus 650 which is equal to 900 right so keep in mind this is amount lent out for 8 percentage so this is the amount let lent out for 6 percentage so finally your answer is its option of b rupees 900 hope you all like this video thanks for watching